Eh, tick rabbit here again. So okay, now we're gonna move on with the next step of the build, and that's to install the um, RGB um, LED controller, which is this box. We're actually wired up uh, four of the fans. And the first thing one needs to do is one needs to connect uh, the, these two fans in series. And um, I've actually laid out all the cables. So these are the cables to connect the fans together and then join it to the controller. And then here's the um, uh, USB cable for, uh, with a motherboard uh, head connector. And here's the power connector for the module, and here's the power supply um, cable. Okay, so let's take this one here, and they're actually the um, cables are the ends are labeled, so that's in and out. And then here's the out port, and there's the in port. It's on the other side. And let's see if I can maybe reposition the camera just a little tiny bit. So it's probably not going to be that easy to see. We'll just test it. There. You have to press it quite hard so that it can actually it actually goes click. So the first time I pressed it in, it, it felt like it was in, but it wasn't. So then I gave it an extra push. So and now we need to. I'll do the cable management later. I'll do it from this side, and then this connector needs to go into the in port. There. A little bit of tidying up with the cable. And then we need to take this in there. So we'll take another cable. Now it's going to be a bit seasickness camera usage, but it's easy with this setup. And they're keyed, these actually keyed, so you can't get them the wrong way around. But they very, they're, they're very sticky when they're in there. So they, don't, they have a clip on the, uh, on the connector. So they really do clip on. So they're actually tricky to take out of. If I would like to remove them again. Hide. Okay, 
people, and that's what it is. Good. And, um, as you saw when I put the fans in in the um, previous video about assembling the case, um, then um, the, fa the fan's actual rotational control comes from the motherboard, just as usual. So I just plug all the fans are plugged into the motherboard headers. Okay. So here we have the ports. There. Okay, let's use port one. Because you can actually drive a RGB LED strip also from this one. I'm only going to drive fans. So let's use port number number one. And plug that one in there. So it's connected. And we can actually pull it down. So. Okay, what should we connect in next? Um, I think I will put in this one, which is a USB 2.0 cable for the motherboard. Or it will connect to a motherboard header. So what I think I'll do is I'll plug this in. So the connector side goes into the module. And there's a, only one place it'll go. So it goes in there. Like that. And then yeah, so that will go here like that. Oh, I need to actually check. Where on the motherboard that goes? Uh, here's the USB 2.0 ports headers. So they are Oh, like usual, it's too dark behind there. I have to get the light. As you see, I have my trusted assistant with me. down there, I was looking completely in the wrong place. It's okay now, so... So there are two connectors. So I'll use the left hand one.
wants a dull thread. Uh, 1394 cable. I haven't got any, any of those. It says it's not recommended to connect it to that connector. Is that something I don't have any of those? Wait, wait. I don't actually have to come. Through you the underneath of the power supply. Sneak. Side. Connection. Can't get it wrong. I will actually turn this around to show where it's plugged in once I have this secured. And that will be very soon because I'm just going to plug the power in. take this and then we just put it into now you need to get this cable out of the cable set and you can just plug it into which one whichever one of these I'll use the last connector Oops. There. make sure it goes in sometimes they need to be wiggled a bit so that you they don't get sideways like sideways jam. That's such short threads, I don't know what they've been thinking. They made them with a little bit longer threads. It's actually kind of difficult to get them in there though. Lots of those cables. And as far as I can remember, I don't need that anymore. It's this one in the front that I'm going to organize. That needs to actually go inside. Yep. Building live. So this needs to actually go in. 
there, of course, I can't remember. It's been a while since I had this part. So, that goes in there. small screw that we need to screw in so I think that's okay there might be that I will need to take this off to access here because I think the yeah, I'm going to have to install some more power cables for the rest, but it actually seems to have made quite a bit of space there, so I might actually be able to... Ah, it's easy to take out anyways. Well anyway, for demonstration purposes, now it's here and the RGB LED controller is behind there. And then... Oh, I'll turn this around. And you can see that it's plugged into, there's two USB headers on the motherboard down here. One there and one there. I wonder if I should give it some more light. And they seem to be identical. So I just chose to use, use that one. Uh, so that should be okay. And then this cable I will just organize a bit better. The one that's going from this fan to that fan. So anyway, that should be done. I uh, hope this video is informative for anybody who wants to install an RGB control. And um, if you found this video interesting, consider subscribing. And definitely if you want to follow the completion of this build, then hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. And um, yeah, see everybody in the next one.